Hi there everyone, so in today's video I'll be showing you how to alter your upload and your download speed on your web browser. Now the reason why you might want to do something like this is because let's say you have a poor internet connection, particularly the upload speed, and you decide to upload something to YouTube for example. That will also alter the rest of your internet experience. So if you're uploading something and you decide you want to play a game or watch a movie online, you're not going to have a good experience. But if you alter your upload speed, make it less, let's say by 20%, you might be able to get away with still using your internet normally. Now, to show that all of this works, I'm gonna first run a speed test of my internet connection before the alteration has occurred. Then I'm gonna do the alteration and show you that indeed the speeds have changed. All right, so you can see that at the moment, my download speed is sitting at 14.59 megabits per second and the upload at 3.0 uh, megabits per second now for the upload this is where you'll run into the problem where if you upload something it's going to affect your downloading experience as well so if i want to prevent that i'll right click and click on inspect then for all chromium browsers you go to network and you'll see this part that says no throttling click on that and click on add if in my case i have something so i'm just going to quickly delete it you say add custom profile, give it a name, and then give your download and upload speeds in kilobits. So let's say um, I wanted a, to have a download speed of 2 megabits, that would be 2000 kilobits, and let's say I'm at the same for the upload speed. I found through some tests that it's better to keep the download and upload speed similar, at least on my internet connection, because if I decide to make the download speed, like let's say 8,000 kilobits per second, it's still gonna reach 2,000. So it doesn't really matter changing it how, 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 however high I want it to be. So that's fine, we'll stick to that. Otherwise, um, you can also leave it blank. So based on what I said, let's just still keep it at 2,000 and quit this. Go again to no throttling, click on test, and then let's rerun it and see what our speeds are. All right, so I finished my test and you can see the download speed and the upload speed. They're both sitting below two megabits per second. So this was a success. If you, uh, I, w I should say though, that while you've done all of this, this is gonna greatly impact your experience on the current web browser. So if you still want to you know, watch stuff and do things um, how you would typically do it online, don't use the same browser. So in my case, I'm using the Brave browser at the moment, but if I was uploading something here, I should rather use a different browser, let's say a Mozilla Firefox, to have a normal experience on that browser, but have an altered experience on this one. So let's say you're finished, do you want it to turn it back to normal? You can just write, uh, you can just click on this arrow again and go to no throttling. And that should be it. Everything should be fine again. And in the future, if you want to rerun this, you can either just click on test or you can click on add and then the edit button and then change the values as you should or as you see fit click on save and then click on it again anyways that's all i wanted to talk about in this video i'll see you next time